to show you a quick thing that uh, Michael just uh, helped me figure out. I, I don't know why it works this way, but if we're doing meetings on Zoom and we're trying to add people as co uh, co hosts, oh, I'm making a screen recording. <laughs> I'm, I'm recording and also talking to my wife. Okay, so I go to schedule here. I go to schedule here and I try to make a meeting. Some people will show up, right? Some people, if I try to make you, for example, a co host, it'll work. Others um, uh, won't. Uh, or I say they, they wouldn't until just recently. Like Linda O'Hyrick, for example, she doesn't show up. So nobody can give me an explanation why. But uh, Michael figured out a, a reason. There's For some reason, the, the system doesn't, doesn't um, perceive us. So if we come over here instead, and before we do that, we type, say, Linda O'Hyrick, let's say, right? And so now the system somehow sees Linda for reasons that I don't know why it needs to see you. But then if I come over here and I do schedule again, and I try to do this and I want to add Linda as my uh, alternative host, I can. Um, before this, if I just try to type in Linda's email or anybody's email that wasn't automatically populated in here, Zoom will have a, an error and it'll say you can't schedule the meeting and there's something wrong. So it, you, you can only type hosts in here that are automatically populated by the identity is populated by zoom. So, um, anyway, don't know why that is, but if you're, if you're trying to add uh, alternative hosts, um, students, other faculty members, whatever, to assist you with your online classes, that's how you do it. And just use this search over here to, to get their names in the system. All right, cool.